Welcome to the Cisco Evolved Programmable Network Manager Product Training Series. This is the Product Architecture Overview video. This video introduces you to the Cisco Evolved Programmable Network or EPN Manager architecture features and functions. Understanding the relationships of the system's functions and their interactions helps you to recognize how the system executes network deployment, management, and assurance tasks and how it addresses specific technology requirements. This insight helps you to better manage network and system operations, upgrades, and updates. Training Objective After you complete this training, you will be able to recognize Cisco EPN Manager's product architecture. Technologies keep evolving. While the activities required to deliver and manage those technologies remain fundamentally the same, Recognizing these as key aspects to delivering services flexibly and managing networks successfully, Cisco EPN Manager's model-driven product architecture decouples the architectural platform which executes the business logic from the content which defines the business logic based on the technologies and business scenarios that the platform executes. The architectural platform is the core framework that provides the system structure and common network management functions such as system deployment and administration, network provisioning, device management, and network assurance. Cisco EPN Manager supports carrier Ethernet and OTN DWDM specific technologies and business scenarios using content packs. For example, the Carrier Ethernet Content Pack supports the provisioning of an E-Line service while the Optical Transport Content Pack supports the provisioning of an Optical Transport Circuit. During provisioning, both content packs rely on the architectural platform to provide the functions for underlying general provisioning tasks. Using this model-driven architecture, EPN Manager becomes highly flexible and responsive to technology changes. When a technology-specific update is necessary, the update occurs only to the applicable content pack. And when an update happens, the content pack configures and applies all of the changes necessary to the architectural platform and the user interface to support the updates. The system handles adding new network devices and supporting device or technology updates similarly by using device driver packs. And system upgrades to the platform, which tend to occur less frequently, can also occur separately. The result is significant agility to adapt to technology changes to add and support devices and device technologies, and to apply system updates with little operational impact. The diagram illustrates Cisco EPN Manager product architecture and the relationships of its functions. In the diagram, the architectural platform functions are organized by operational functions, which support the tasks that network operators perform, and administrative functions, which support the tasks that administrators perform. The architectural platform of Cisco EPN Manager provides the common functionality and structure for device and network management activities. The operational functions on the platform include the Element Management System, or EMS, layer, and the Network Management System, or NMS, layer. The EMS layer supports device communication and FCAPS management. The NMS layer supports the network provisioning and assurance functions. Inventory collects network inventory data using SNMP, Telnet SSH, NetConf, TL1, or HTTP protocols. Inventory data is protocol agnostic and normalized in the database. Normalizing the database to a common model negates device differences, minimizes redundancy, and provides efficiencies. This way, the system can support various southbound technologies, which allows management of diverse device types. The function also synchronizes the inventory data that it collects with network data by using polling. The types of polling that the system can perform include periodic polling, which collects device data following a schedule, on-demand polling, which users can perform as needed, and event-based polling, which prompts the system to collect device data when events occur that an administrator has configured to initiate polling automatically. 
Assurance functions occur in the EMS and NMS layers to provide fault management and to collect performance metrics. To support fault management activities, the assurance function in the EMS layer receives events and such notifications as syslogs or traps that the devices are reporting, and then identifies the conditions of the events and their locations. It then generates alarms containing the identified conditions and locations to alert users of network or system changes that might need more attention. Then in the NMS layer, Assurance associates alarms to services for more efficient issue resolution. When evaluating faults, system users can query alarms to determine their associated services or query services to determine their associated alarms. To collect performance metrics, Assurance collects device-level metrics in the EMS layer. Then, in the NMS layer, Assurance aggregates the device-level metrics to produce service-level metrics. The performance metrics that Assurance collects and aggregates are available in reports and in various areas of the application. Configuration provides device configuration using either models or templates. Model-based configuration normalizes configurations on different device types using a common model, making those configurations agnostic of command line interface syntax. Using this method allows users to deploy a configuration to varying device types in a single task. Model-based configuration provides significant flexibility when configuring devices by adding specific features without the need to address the device as a whole. Template-based device configuration allows users to define configuration templates and change parameter values as needed. Then they can use the template to deploy the configuration to one or many devices. Configuration Archive archives device configurations and logs configuration details, supports configuration comparisons, and enables configuration rollback in deployment failure situations. Software Image Management supports image download, distribution, and activation. For image upgrades, the function provides image recommendations and performs upgrade analysis before distribution. Reports provides the mechanism for conveying the network and system performance metrics that the assurance function captures. Users can review reports to monitor and evaluate network and system activities and performance and to help identify network issues. System users can configure and run reports on demand or schedule them to run at specific intervals. When users configure reports, they can save those reports for later use. When needed, users can export reports or send them in email messages. Provisioning provides the structure and tools for deploying services on the network. Specifically, it supports the development and deployment of carrier Ethernet virtual connections and optical transport circuits. At the platform level, provisioning provides the basic requirements for defining service intent, realizing the service intent in EPN Manager by mapping the intent to the target resources, including the termination points of the service, and allocating service resources using pools. Resource allocation provides efficiencies through automation, removing the need to track allocation manually. Circuit and virtual connection discovery provides the structure to discover the end-to-end -end services that are provisioned on the network and also reconciles discovered services with their service intents. Topology provides graphical visualization of the network topology by using map views. The function recognizes device and link faults and illustrates faults and their severities in the map view. For optical circuits, the function supports visualization of the multi-layer trace of circuits or services. Topology also supports user interaction with the network by providing such features as click action on device icons, which opens key device details and provides access to a summary view in which users can take actions as needed. Click action on links, which opens key link details. Click action on virtual connections and circuits, which displays the services in map overlays. And click action on virtual connection and circuit information buttons, which opens a summary view in which users can take actions as needed.
Device driver packs are components that can extend the most recent content pack to support additional device types or software versions. Because items like adding device types or updating software versions are often available after a release, device driver packs provide a flexible method of extending technology-specific functionality. Device driver packs are managed separately, which means updates can occur as needed with little operational impact. Content packs are technology-specific packages that extend the platform or most recent content pack to support additional network technology scenarios or features. Content packs can provide support for new technologies not currently available in the system. They can also extend current functionalities such as extending technology-specific provisioning and assurance functions. When packs are integrated, the system updates the back end and the user interface to support new or extended technology-related details. Content pack releases tend to occur less frequently than device driver pack releases. The primary goal when determining the architecture and design of the EPN Manager User Interface is reducing the time that it takes for system users to complete their tasks. The architecture achieves this goal by simplifying the user interface. EPN Manager is web-based, which makes deployment straightforward and makes the system readily accessible. The architecture supports flexible control and organization of the data that is visible in the layout and significantly reduces the time that it takes the interface to load data. The user interface also provides straightforward system navigation by using intuitive menus and device and circuit 360 views. EPN Manager provides the Multi-Technology Operation System Interface, or MTOC, and REST API for northbound OSS integration. The system implements the MTOC interface as a set of SOAP-based web services, which provide interfaces that support retrieving device physical and logical inventories, retrieving service and resource inventories, provisioning of carrier Ethernet virtual connections and optical transport circuits, and notifying of resource changes, including when objects are created or deleted or when object attribute values change. The REST API supports inventory and alarm retrieval. The system also forwards alarms as Cisco EPM notification MIB traps. The EMS layer of the platform, which supports device communication and management, provides the southbound interface for interacting with network devices. The interface provides handlers for the following protocols. SNMP, V2 and V3, Telnet, SSH, NetConf, HTTP, and TL1. All system communication is secure and encrypted, including client to server, server to database, server to northbound and southbound interfaces, and server to server in HA configurations. Cisco EPN Manager supports high availability for local and geographical configurations. The high availability support occurs in hot standby, which means that the system's application processes are up and running on both the primary and secondary servers and synchronized on an ongoing basis. Each server also has two database instances an active instance, and a standby instance. Administration supports system configuration, system management, and user management functions. Administration also supports the single database and information model. In high availability configurations, administration provides the HA infrastructure. Training Summary You completed the training. In this training, you learn to recognize Cisco EPN Manager's product architecture. This concludes the product architecture overview video. Thank you for your interest and attention.